Hey everybody, my name's Darren and I'm part of the UK Youth Climate Coalition. We're all trying to keep our carbon footprint as low as possible while we're travelling to Copenhagen. And for me to do that, I've decided to uh, take the slightly more time consuming route of cycling from the UK to Copenhagen uh, over four days. Here's some of the gear I'll be taking, not including the bike of course, um, which is somewhere. I have my high vis uh, and my stretchy uh, leggings, which will look very hot. I'll also be bringing a helmet because safety is very important. Uh, the How Old Will You Be in 2050 t-shirt, suit, jeans, shoes, toothbrush, water bottle, puncture repair kit, and then to hold it all, I've got a few pannier bags as well. I'll be doing a couple of these videos throughout the journey, um, just to kind of highlight to how the journey's going, where I've actually got to, if I make the ferry, and if I actually manage to get to Copenhagen on the Friday. Well, as you can just see, the sun is just about to rise. It's just past seven o'clock, and just about ready to set off. So, let's get this on the road. It's first thing in the morning in day two, and as you can see from Amelia's house, it's definitely a bike house. A little bit nervous, it's just gone eight o'clock now, so I'm literally just about to jump on the bike and try and cover the 70 odd miles from here to Harwich. And I need to get there by five o'clock at the latest because that's what time the boat leaves. So the race really hot up today. Body gets bigger. Taking along with the cover every night. But for now, maybe good place. Okay. Doing good. Not lost. Just working out. Deck 7 with the uh, rest of the UK YCC group. Um, really good to see them, um, really got my spirits up again and made me realise again why I'm doing this here. Uh, the next two days though are going to be the big challenge, it's uh, 180 miles from the port to Copenhagen. Very nervous. It's a greater distance, it's a shorter time and the weather isn't going to be as good. So think, yeah, everything's against me to get into to Copenhagen in time for the conference of youth. But it's on, it's definitely on. Well, I've got a chance at Copenhagen. I really need something positive. It's really, it's sure. We do have a home for everybody. It's very cold. And it's damp. I'm going to have about five and a half, six hours sleep uh, to get ready for the cycle for tomorrow. I'll switch our bonus. Odense is here and uh, Copenhagen is up here. Doing the last, it'll be now 80 minutes uh, up to Copenhagen. It is December, it is Christmas, and they're on Christmas tree. Every tiny LCD 
Beats like a mountain man. About 20 miles to go up, I think I'm really, really struggling. Justin Brombury now, it's 2 o'clock, here's the last video from Keenan at the Copenhagen. Just about to get the last video of the day, it's about 2 o'clock, we're finally made it to Denmark. I made it to Copenhagen and nobody else is here. I'm absolutely exhausted. I've never been as tired in all life. So I'm gonna go and share. Tidy myself up, look human for um, the first time in four days. And then I uh, find the rest of them. And I can't wait to see them all. I really can't. The, get, the thought of seeing them all just kept me going. And what we're gonna be doing over the next two weeks. And why I don't wanna go. This, that was just the beginning. It was just kind of really scary thought, but it, it literally was. That was a warm up, shall we say, um, for the next two weeks in Copenhagen, so I'll be more proud of what we can do over the next two weeks.